It's time to budget for April. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Kamika, and this is Well Balanced Wallet, where I help you create healthy money habits and live a life that you love on your current budget. Today, we are going to budget for April. I know I'm a little bit late, but not as late as last month, so let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, it says we have one overspent category. Um, that's because the electricity bill came out on the first and today is the third um, so we'll take care of that in just a second so we're going to start off as usual by clearing out the next month category and uh, i guess we can go ahead and take care of this so 116.79 i think our electric bill was so low because uh, i think most people in the state of georgia got a credit for March on their electric bill if they use uh, Georgia Power. So that is why that's so low. Okay, so let's continue. I like what I've been doing by just selecting the bills and auto funding those, auto assigning those. So let's do that. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna have to make some adjustments because I know the internet bill went, no, not the internet. What was it? The car insurance. Oh, I adjusted it last month. So the car insurance went up to like 133 or something like that. Um, phone bill 80, that's good. Electricity is already paid. Um, water, car insurance, life insurance. Okay, Jim this went up because care decided that he wanted a gym membership um i think it is 29 dollars a month or 20 dollars a month i'm not sure so i'm gonna put 29 here just to cover everything um and i think that's all for the bills i think we're good on the bills okay mortgage our mortgage is I'm gonna add, um, what do I, I usually add 1407.91 here. Um, but we had some changes to our mortgage because the mortgage amount actually went down, but I'm still paying the same amount that I was paying the last, for the past year, so that I can pay down our principal faster. Um, so we'll leave this here for now, and then I'll come back and add 169 at the end if we still have money left over. If not, I'll fund it throughout the month um, when we have extra money in our budget. Okay, so for home maintenance and repairs, there's nothing here yet because I haven't done anything with the paycheck that we just got on Friday. Um, I like to go ahead and do my monthly budget first and then I'll budget the paycheck. Um, but usually when I get paid, I'll pay um, a certain percentage of money here in the home maintenance and repairs and then the rest of it depending on which paycheck it is goes to our next month category for next month um, so we'll see we'll, I'll show you that in a different video okay so there are five weeks in April so we need $500 for grocery restaurants we need 150 because clearly we spent all of our restaurant money in March okay for spending money you know the drill random number between 25 and 80 the answer is 57 okay not too bad not too bad so 57 here 57 here okay we're at $780 left so let's see 100 towards household goods miscellaneous it says we need 196.83 so let's just do that entertainment is 50 uh, okay so I've been learning Spanish and um, I found a new Spanish program that I want to do that's $150 a month and I think we're, I'm gonna pay for it starting this week. We have $128.76 there. So I need to make that 150, but I'm gonna hold off for just a second. Let me finish going down the line to make sure we have the things that we need. Uh, okay, 
So we need $50 for personal care. We need $80 for Christmas. We need, oh, the rest of this looks pretty good. Okay, so let me get this up to 150. So that'll be, what, $32? I don't do math, y'all. It should have been $22, but we'll leave it at 32. Okay, so we have $271.74 left. We have a trip coming up this month. The plane tickets and the hotel have already been purchased. So our Treat Yourself category has $1,700 in there. Um, we have our medical category up significantly from last year, but I still haven't received um, my hospital bills yet from my surgery. Um, so that, that we're still waiting on that. Um, our car maintenance and repairs is at the $600 that I like to keep it keep the minimum amount uh, the once per year category is full uh, let's see emergency fund could stand to have some money but since we have our trip coming up I think this whole $271 is going to go towards treat yourself and then in the next video I will show you what we do with the extra money that we um, have left over when we budget so yeah let's do that now okay so this was a pretty quick video the budget was straightforward just trying to get it done so I can go ahead and distribute the money that we got in our last paycheck and move forward with this month I'm so excited with our trip that we have coming up um, and I'll tell you guys more about that later um, so yeah, that's, that's the April budget. Smooth, easy. I like it when it's like this. So let me know in the comments what your April budget looks like and what you had to change between last month and this month. And be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the link on your screen right now for more Web on Wallet content. See you there.